He was, de he was devastated after that 10-9 first round defeat by Stephen Hendry, but now he's going to be at the Masters next January. A quick discussion about the 16-32 to 32 in the world rankings, because they have to qualify for all the major tournaments. And the strength and depth in the qualifiers is there. It's quite incredible, isn't it? Matthew Stevens, Ken Doherty, Joe Swell, Mark Williams, Nigel Bond, Stephen Lee, Steve Davis, all crucible semi-finalists, I make them all all trying to beat each other up to qualify for the major tournaments. Well, if you're 17 to 32 in the world rankings, it basically means you've got to win one match to qualify for the Crucible next year. That normally takes place just down the road at the English Institute of Sport. And I'll tell you what, the BBC might want to uh, cover that event because it's going to be some tremendous snooker. People say, has Ken Doherty played at the Crucible for the last time? Has Mark Williams played here for the last time? I think that's a preposterous suggestion. I think Mark Williams could even win the title again. That's how good 17 to 32 will be next season. And here's the new world number one at the table. <laughs> no, just nearly went in off. He put his hand up and apologised, but if he'd have gone in off, he probably wouldn't have left much. If Willie's sounding a bit down, Leicester have gone down, is it, Will? Yeah, I'm afraid so. I'm uh, a little deflated this afternoon. The only thing that uh, I'm enjoying is watching Ronnie O'Sullivan and Ali Carter play in this world final, along with these 960-odd people. Leicester, I'm afraid, drew at Stoke and Southampton won, so... It's people like Carlisle and people like that coming to Leicester next year. Perish the thought. The important thing when playing that safety was to try and cover an escape down the left hand side of the table as we looked, so he's just missed out there if Ronnie can get past the pink. Well he did, but he's caught it a little <coughs> thick than he would have liked and there's a possibility of this red to the, the right corner. <coughs> but as we said in the Stephen Hendry match, when you're playing someone like Ronnie puts pressure on every aspect of your game. Every time you go for a pot in situations like this you think if I don't get it will I get another shot? Your safety. So he's taking it on. He hasn't potted a long one yet. But he has now and control the cue ball absolutely beautiful with the black. Well played. And played it so well, as you see it going for the second time, but he's got the perfect angle on the red, to, on the black, I should say, to move the red off the black spot. So that was a double bonus. A, his first long pot of the match, and B, getting such a perfect angle. He wants to make sure he just kisses this red half ball just to move it well away. Yeah, that's nice. This is a great chance now to win a frame at one visit, and that he needs to do it for one behind. You Eight. can't let O'Sullivan get too far clear. Nine. <coughs> Sixteen. Not ideal, these reds here. The, the six reds in a line, two, two, two. The middle reds of those six. That's the angle he needs to get on the black if he can, to play a cannon into those middle two reds together of the six in line. Because then he'll be on choice with the other two reds just above the black. So this is the key shot if he's going to continue this break. 17. I don't think he's played that well enough to get that kit, so this is going to be a little bit tricky getting on the next red. Yes, the one thing you don't want to do is come straight on the black basically means you can only go forward or backwards, whereas if you've got an angle, it's got a little bit of one. It all depends how he sees this. <coughs> he 
He could play that little cannon if he feels as though he can move the cue ball up the table. That would guarantee him being on a red. It's a tricky one, though. Looks like he's queuing low to possibly play for one in the middle, but if that kiss was on, I agree with John, that's one he'd like to play. He did try and play it and got into the cue ball too much, John. Played the screw rather than the stop into that red. Well, I'll be honest with you, Willie, when I saw him striking the cue ball that low, I thought he couldn't have been playing that cannon. He needed for a stun shot, and a stun shot, you just hit the ball just below centre. Got too much backspin on it. And it's those situations that just one cannon played correctly just opens up the frame completely. And that basically, Alicata, really, I think 24. is the difference. When Ronnie gets in those situations, as we say, you don't expect him to not make the most of them. So disappointed. It was a good opening red. But a premature end. <laughs> Not the best of safety, but no pot on to get onto a colour, so if Ali can see the red next to the pink, he'll play safe off that. Otherwise, at first glance, the safety is not straightforward. The red in open play, the one in the right-hand corner, he can't do anything with the cue ball there, so that's far too risky. all he could do, the containing safety, <coughs> the path back to Bork was very risky and he's got to keep it tight with Ronnie. Yeah, you always hate playing that shot, what we call the dump shot really, because you know that you're your second favourite on the safety exchange, but if you've got no other shot, you've got to play it. So you know that you're going to be faced with a tough safety shot at your next visit, but hopefully it'll be one where you can get back into ball. Just while Ali thinks about this safety shot, we'll just look back to the shot he played before. As I say, he just put too much backspin on for me when he played this black. We'll come back to that in a second as he plays this second attempt. And want a double kiss. Well. But this is it. And, and I just thought he'd play the stun shot. Now he struck very low. That's where we were thinking he should have hit. Pot the black, stun up. This is what he played. And with the backspin, he went into the reds. But if you play it with a stun shot, that's what we were looking for. And that's what he'd have been happy with. Well, he decided to take this red in the middle. It was always tough because it was into a blind pocket. Now Ali's just got Ronnie just, just slightly off colour at the moment. So this is when you've got to make hay why the sun shines. Because as you know in this tournament this week, if you get two chances of frame against Ronnie, you're doing pretty well. You'd be happy with one. One. 